Hey guys, it's Carol and thank you for stopping by my floss tube. I am back here with four whips this week and a little bit of actual like planning. Yes, I sat down today and planned what I'm gonna cross stitch over the next week and it felt really good. So I'm glad I did it. But let's go ahead and just jump right into the whips. First up, I have Heartstring Sampler is considered the lilies. This is a huge piece and it is beautiful and everything about it is just been like scratching that itch to work on a sampler recently so here was last time and this is where we're at today i spent most of the time that i've worked on this recently has been going back through and filling in all these leaves like it's funny because i was looking at the picture before i started like i didn't feel like i had done very much but really like filling in so there's two different greens used for this it's oscar and green with envy and it's funny green with envy in particular has a lot of variegation in it so it almost looks like there's not just like two colors in a museum but three maybe four i love it it's so well done and i don't know just i like how the tree is filling out the one thing i dislike this this, this is the, the motif, it's right on the center. I think the beginning, of, the center of the piece is somewhere around here. It's huge. And I guess I was kind of hope, hoping in doing this that I'd just kind of be able to do a motif here, a motif there, and eventually I'd be done. But it is a little disheartening like that this thing is so big, it's not even contained on one page, it's spilling over into multiple pages. It'll be really awesome like when I get to the point where I feel like, hey, the motif is done. But in the meantime, this, right here only represents 1% of the entire chart as far as completion. <laughs> I know that this will get, it, like I expect this is a huge, this is right now what have folded over into thirds and it's not exactly a small amount across here. Um, it's just, I guess it's more of a, I would like to move on from the tree. And yes, I'm actually close enough. I could just start over another motif here. I probably will, in all honesty, because I'm kind of getting tired of doing branches. But I just figured I would share. That's the one thing that I have found a little, like, I insist on center starting because I don't like measuring off from the edges of my piece. I like to start in the center and I know I will be centered up. But it's just something I noticed. Um, the other thing is also I ended up having a frog up here more than I might have liked. I did not do a good job when I decided to start doing the bottoms of these pieces of fruit. I thought I was counting, and I mean he did, and then would end up consistently like one row off. It's, the problem is I, like in each of these cases, there were like the last bit of fiber left over and I just wanted to kind of use it somewhere. And I wasn't expecting to get the full fruit in, but I didn't spend as much time double checking the counting as I should have. Now on the plus side, when I realized, oh, I'm off by a single row, it was really easy to pull out and put back, but maybe would have appreciated doing no frogging at all if I had just double checked. That's how it goes, but we'll say I still, th this is really awesome. I don't know how I'm gonna share this once it starts getting big, but in the meantime, it's going well. The next piece from my last week or so of stitching is Modern Folk Embroidery's The Fruit of Plenty Stitch Along. I'm working on the February card now, and here it was last time. And here's where it is today. This triangular motif here that was not complete, even though I was like, oh, I'm done with January. Like all of January is done up here, and on, because the split is like, 45% away across the triangle. So actually the bottom of it's over here and started doing the filling in these rows, which gives us now we have the two for 20, whenever I finish this. Hopefully it says 2023 at the end of all of it, but fingers crossed, I don't know. I'm really hoping to get it done by the end of 2023 because I don't like things that are done. Um, I am just very slowly working on filling in through here. The idea is to take my lighter color and come down and finish out this part of January where it's done for the purposes of my tracking, but that is not um, fully, fully finished. Basically just started on this side, working from the left towards the right is my general take 
With this project so far, it's been working well for me, so I'm gonna keep doing it. I am also fully at 8% complete for like the entire thing. Like not even like the eight, whatever, like I actually counted out. There's like 72 squares for the grid that was over here. This one is a bigger piece just because how the lines break across the uh, pages. So it's actually 81 squares for this month. But it, like I said, it was exactly at 8% complete. Um, I like nice round numbers. Most of mine are rounded because when you're doing um, division, like for consider the lilies, I have 20 squares done out of 1,528. You get really, really interesting decimals from that. But anyway, nonetheless, I am really pleased with how this one's looking. So probably gonna keep going with it. It's been calling to me recently. What I wasn't expecting to work on this week, but that I'm really glad I picked up again, is the Prairie Schoolers or Prairie Garden. And this was kind of, I picked it up mostly because I hadn't touched it in a while. I was looking at some of my, I don't wanna call them orphan projects, like pretty much all my projects have been touched in the last year but some get more love than others and this one had been one that I wanted to go ahead and just get done and I had it I still haven't but I am closer and she never closer to that finish so here's what's last time and this is where we're at today this the I guess they're violets of some kind. Anyway, they're completely done right down to finishing in the gold here in the center, which is the same gold that is used in the daffodils here. And I realized one of the reasons I had kind of stopped working on this project is I literally went out of that color. Um, it was, I believe, seven, or 677, and it's like getting used in like three different projects for me right now. So I would basically run out. And that was like a stopping point. but. When I have half of these daffodils, so there's two daffodils. This one is completely done. Starting working on the petals over here. I'm gonna just kind of keep working on it. We are at seven, so I counted this as a half of a motif done. 79% done. Ooh, like this one's actually kind of at the, I don't know, I said this before, but I'm gonna reiterate, like it's kind of at the point where now I wanna almost keep working on it and do nothing else just to go ahead and get a finish. That's usually for me around the 85% mark. I'm not quite there yet, but I do, I see this one. This one's probably gonna be my next finish and hopefully it's in the next month or so. Again, fingers crossed, lots of fingers crossing for that. But I really do think this one is just, it's so cute and I mean, I like it. That's the other thing. I mean, I like it. I like all my projects. I don't keep going with projects I don't like. I don't even start ones that I'm Eh, about but this one is like the it would just be nice to be finished just how close it is so hopefully soon so I decided that what I really needed because it is the first week of fall that I needed a new start I mean I don't really need a new start I should finish things but whatever I talked about this in the last video so custom crafts Autumn Chapel, I love the coloration of this where you have some of the greens, some of these trees are fully red. Like it's, in my mind, it captures a like good bit of what I love about fall. It makes me feel like, oh, the air is crisp and you get to wear a good sweater. All of the things that I can't do yet because it is still too warm. Um, I have been having to break out a jacket at night though, so I know Winter is coming faster than I want it to. What I've decided to do for this project is I am doing this, like this is my cut piece. So this is on an 18 count Ada that I got from Hobby Lobby. They come in a, I think it's a fat half. It was 29 inches by 36 inches. So yeah, uh, that would be a fat half in the tube. It's like not all that particularly expensive. So went ahead and cut it. And I gave myself a nice, generous full three inches around. Yes, I did learn from my um, Dreaming of Tulips piece that I really do not need to like try to use too little around these. See, I can learn from the past. I am starting in the upper right hand corner. When I started this, I was doing I was doing a very strict diagonal that held up for six. 
Yeah, six rows, and then I realized it was not for me. Like, the idea of doing literally stitch by stitch by stitch by stitch in this ever-marching down diagonal pattern, it did not produce a better, like this corner does not, at least where I actually did that, did not have a better look than where I stitch with my usual method. So decided I would prefer to not have to feel like I have to do each individual stitch, but the, like some of these colors where there's a decent amount of um, pieces all like right next to each other that I want to be able to stitch five stitches in a row real fast because they're all the same color because I was all, it was the sheer amount of changing out my needle. Changing my needle like every, really it was like every stitch. This is, I mean, this confetti, but it's not that insanely confetti, at least not compared to my hate. So, I was not enjoying that, went ahead. And so what I've done is I am working basically by grid squares. So this one's, this set of 100 is done. Need to finish out down here and then basically I'm gonna just move across the pattern that way in roughly diagonal fashion because I do prefer to drop down rows as opposed to go up. It's just a quirk of how I like to stitch. So I, also decided because it's just Ada and the project's not huge. It is 292 stitches wide by 222 stitches tall that I'm like, I'm gonna just try new and different things. So this is actually like a really, really cool project for me in that sense. So I'm doing the loop start. I don't normally do loop starts, but it's an 18 count. So I'm doing two threads. So I, huge right so I have these are each meter long pieces because what I'm doing to get them to the length is I am basically unwind or er, unspool the entire skein double it over double it over again and then double it over third time put it on here cut through the parts that are still linked and now you have meter long um, pre-cut pieces and then I'm just grabbing a single strand of that using the loop start and moving forward. It is funny because these are just like huge to me compared to this. I mean, it's, not, it's twice the length. I normally use pre-cut 18 inch lengths, but decided to do something different. So we'll see how it goes. I do, I am enjoying the loop start. It's because I'm doing this in my cue snaps. I do not particularly enjoy flipping my cue snaps. So I'm trying to do everything of this from the front as much as possible, right down to when I end I have one color that I have, there's like nothing nearby for so I've already run it out. I'm dropping down about 10 rows, pulling it forward and snipping. Just enough that it'll stay put until I get it caught under other ones and then I'm kind of allowing it to then drift towards the back. So my back is actually not terrible. I don't know how well you can see it and my camera doesn't really autofocus so if I like go forward, it's not gonna make much of a difference, but it is tidy. This is much nicer than my Hade, which is like a bird's nest on the backside. So I am enjoying it. As you'll note, I am parking threads. Yes, I know in the past they've said I don't enjoy parking threads. And as a rule, I generally don't. It's something that I find gets very like too much in the way. But for right now, this seems like to be a manageable number of colors. So I'm gonna go with it for now. I guess that's, I am giving myself permission. If I decide it's not working for me, I'll switch. Like I don't, just because I started a project in a certain mindset doesn't mean I have to do the entire thing. Like I'd be scared to give up on the strict diagonal stitching really fast because it wasn't working for me. And you know what, that's okay. So that is what I worked on this last week. I did spend some time thinking like, oh man, I'm going to work on some of the stuff that I haven't pulled out recently, like almost, the unloved projects I say unloved, but they're just the ones I don't necessarily enjoy working on as much. And guess what? That totally killed my uh, stitching enthusiasm for like days. So the answer is don't work on things you don't want to work on or that you feel like you should because reasons didn't work for me this week and that's okay. Um, I was really excited though, like I said, the new start, it's like, I'm really enthusiastic about stitching. So I did make a point of almost doing a little bit of planning just because that way I know what I want to work on in this next week. And I still picked five projects and hopefully this is what we'll see over the next week. First and foremost, I wanna jump back on Autumn Queen. I've kind of left her alone for the last month and so longer. I've left her alone for a while because 
while she's like beautiful and I love her, I was just, I was feeling like tired because it was, she was in every week. So I gave her a break. Guess what, now I really want to work on her again. So she's coming back in the rotation. I'm gonna go with Family Patchwork Sampler just because I would like to finish up at least a page for it as well. And then I am going to keep going with Autumn Chapel because it's really talking to me right now. And a Prairie Garden, just because it's getting close to finish. So if I, kind of hoping if I finish the other daffodil and finish the border around that motif that I will feel like, okay, cool, I can get this one done over the next month. We'll see if that works, but I do, I, as it's getting closer to being done, the more I do feel drawn toward it. And then lastly, I'm gonna pick up Afe Maria again because it's been a while. And I had started that project with the intention of it not dragging into a multi-year process. None of these I ever intended on being a multi-year process. They're always a multi-year process. Like, I should just accept that. But I'm not good at that. <laughs> That's fine. Anyway, thank you so much for stopping by. I hope that you're having a great week in whatever you have going on. And I will see you next time. Bye.